Today, we've got the Ford Ranger Raptor. This is the 2020 model, so not the latest one out at the moment. However, it's still an absolutely fantastic pickup truck. So, there's a lot of misconception, I would say, about the Ford Ranger Raptor. Um, people tend to use, um, well, they would like to use a more like an agricultural style of truck, or, you know, a lot of different models, so it's like, say, for example, the Ford Ranger, the standard wild track or anything like that. This, from the ground up, is just something completely different, okay? It might share a few elements from the same sa chassis, but it, per the purpose of it is completely different. So what is it for? Well, it's for those people who want a performance off-road vehicle and it's got a lot of heritage from the Baja style. So if you don't know what Baja is, it's a race which happens over in America, I believe all around the world to be fair, but it's an off-roading race. It's quite a grueling race. You're racing off-road and that's why you need like the upgraded suspension, the tires, the lift. Um, and that's exactly what this has got. What, what's different about it compared to any other sort of pickup? So let's start with the suspension because that is the major point of this. So it's actually designed all by Fox Racing and they've got a very reputable name within the off-roading uh, world. What else has changed? So what, come, what this comes with is you still get 17 inch wheels, but they're beefed up. They're designed to take a lot more, uh, you know, knocks, hits, or, you know, damage, so to speak. Um, and then they're complemented with um, big, knobbly off-roading tyres as well. And that's standard for the Raptor. That, that's what they come with. So with that, obviously you're going to need quite a bit of power to go with this suspension and tyre setup. So you've got an inline four, um, obviously diesel, uh, two litre. However, um, turbocharged, I should say, as well on top of that. Um, it produces 230 brake horsepower and then also 500 newton meters of torque which is but loads <laughs> it's, it's a lot but obviously these are very tunable engines and this is just what this is the standard specs um on top of that it's then complemented with a 10 speed gearbox and the reason why you've got 10 gears is so it, you can use the power band all the time at whatever speed you're doing um, so right now we are driving along quite a bumpy road and admittedly the suspension everything else is is soaking it up quite well um, the camera rattling around might give a different example right now <laughs> which I can see however it's absolutely on the road it's brilliant to drive it's very quiet it's just smooth you know because the, that fox suspension is really soaking up the bumps and everything else along with those tires you know and today the weather conditions are well you probably can tell from looking out the windows and stuff it's uh, very snowy there's a lot of slow melted ice slush it's just it's horrible conditions uh, realistically but this is what it's designed for this raptor is going to soak everything up and I'll be honest with you, it feels literally like I'm driving on a nice hot summer's day, um, especially with the heated seat on, and that's an absolute bonus of the interior. So, as I say, we're on the road performance, it's fantastic. It's really nice to drive, and obviously the wheel track is a lot wider than a standard Ranger. Um, that is obviously to, or to, to help with that extra suspension in there, with the wider tyres and all of that setup underneath. Um, so, to get the real benefits of this um, let's go take it off-road and let's go see exactly what it can do because on the road we're not even gonna break a sweat with it so let's go find out and see exactly what it can do okay so driving this through the heavy snow it's all like icy snow to be fair I tell you what, the suspension, the tyres, they're really holding up fantastically with it. Um, the, the amount of grip it's got as well, and obviously there's knobbly tyres when you're braking, it, it kind of feels like you're braking on a, maybe a bit of a wet road and so on. But it, it's absolutely perfect, this, uh, this setup. So obviously there's a few extra downsides with this uh, truck if you're using for more, say, agricultural reasons. So 
with it, um, unfortunately, the towing capacity is only two and a half tons. Um, and that's a bit lower than, obviously, it's a ton less <laughs> than if you're using a normal Ranger wild track. Um, it's mainly due to, because of the chassis, the changes within the chassis, the suspension, the tyres, stuff like that. So it's just got, it has got a reduced towing capacity. But if you're not towing or, you know, designed to tow with it or, with, or jobs and things that you want to use it for, then honestly, th this is fantastic. It's really, really worth it. I would say, like, I'm just driving around, you know, meandering through the ice, the snow, the slush, you probably hear it as well. And actually, you know what, it's the, the grip is different. I feel like I'm just driving on a normal dry road. Um, it, it's just soaking up the bumps, everything else. It's absolutely fantastic. Like, we're comfortably doing 50 miles an hour here, and it just doesn't seem to even be breaking a sweat at all. Uh, so obviously all of those little incremental improvements that they have done uh, really do make a difference. Um, oh yeah, this is actually like, fantastic to drive. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely designed for this purpose. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> this is honestly so much fun so much fun this raptor this is designed for exactly this purpose tough terrain everything else it's snowy conditions now is just oh this is spot on this is absolutely spot on okay so the ford ranger raptor how do we summarize it well out the box it is the perfect package if you're going on those large excursions if you're going on the big adventures and everything else Obviously, we've mentioned earlier, it's got that Fox Racing suspension, which is one of the biggest highlights of this vehicle. But again, you couple that with the BF Goodrich all-terrain tyres, again, really complements this high-performance setup off-road. Out the obviously from the engine, you've got 500 newton meters of torque, which is brilliant. And you couple that with the 10-speed gearbox, you can stay in the power band on any sort of terrain. Obviously, there's loads of other features on the vehicle, you know, chassis improvements and so on which really, you know, tie it all in together. And driving around off-road, especially in these icy conditions, you can really see the benefit of the vehicle. I will be honest, the biggest downside is probably the towing capacity, which is only two and a half tons. Obviously there are other brands out there and everything else. Even the Ford Wildtrak is a three and a half ton towing capacity. However, the reason for that is due to the suspension setup. This isn't designed for towing. Yes, obviously you can tow with it, but it's designed for those big adventures, taking it off road and just doing what it was built to do. It's got that Baja heritage in it. And as when you're driving it, you can really feel it through the steering wheel and your pedals when you're driving. So overall, if you're going on a big adventure, I would recommend one of these. This out the box as a piece of kit is ready for it. And it will tackle anything you throw at it as well. So anyways, if you guys do like this review, um, please follow the channel for more videos coming soon and then all of the details of this vehicle are in the description down below along as all of the other vehicles that we do have on our website as well. Anyways, we'll see you guys in the next one.